Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today is probably the most exciting video ever. Um, this is my first ever Walt Disney World vlog series. This will be the fourth time me and Nick have been and yeah, the first time I'm deciding to pick up the camera. I'm very excited. It's actually the day before, so it is Sunday. Um, as you can see, I'm not in a travel outfit. <laughs> this would not be comfortable to travel in. Um, it is the day before, and I wanted to give you like a bit of context on the trip because when I watch a lot of vlogs, I'm like, well, who are they? <laughs> What's the relationship? What's the crack? Um, <laughs> and I've spoken to quite a few like fellow vloggers about this before as well, and I feel like we're all equally as nosy into people's lives. Of course, there's boundaries, but I'm like, well, what do you do for a living? Like. Whereabouts do you live? <laughs> Are you married? <laughs> like, I need to know all the details. Whether that's just me, I don't know, but let me give you a bit of context on this trip. So I am Beth, if you've not come across my videos or my Instagram or anything else before. I have recently, this year, gone freelance. I've worked in affiliate marketing for the past 10 years and that is pretty much me in a nutshell. Nick is my husband. We got married in January in Vegas, which was hugely exciting. Um, and he is an accountant. We've been together for 13 years. Um, this might be boring for some people, honestly. I just like to know the logistics, you know what I'm saying? Um, and we live together. Um, and it's, it's all good times. We are probably about 20 minutes um, drive from Manchester Airport, which is where we'll be going in the morning, which honestly is a dream. It makes traveling so, so much easier. Um, so you won't see like, uh, this is where we stayed the night before in a hotel, even though I love those videos, because there's just no need. Like I say, we've been three times before. We went in 2016, 18, and last year we went in September and had the best trip ever. We came back from that trip being like, we are all good. That was the trip of a lifetime. We had the best time. We think we don't need any more Disney anytime soon. However, we've had a really difficult end of the year plus kind of start of this year due to kind of family health issues. Um, and that was, took a really big toll on both of us. Um, and I also got made redundant in March and that's been a huge change. Nick has been working so hard at work and I think we were both kind of like, we probably need a holiday, don't we? And then the big news, which will be out on Instagram because I'm planning to take some cute pictures. <laughs> in Disney and share is that we are having a baby um and I <laughs> I don't know why why am I getting emotional <laughs> last time I'm filming this I'm 20 weeks pregnant if you follow me on Instagram you'll likely know that last year we suffered a miscarriage very very early on in a pregnancy that wasn't planned um it doesn't really matter how early how late whether it was planned whether it was not it was extremely difficult and we booked our last trip to Disney World as a we need something to look forward to trip and it truly was the most amazing trip however mid-february we found out that we were having a baby and it's just changed everything it's changed every decision we we're gonna make um and all of those other things i just listed plus this we just would die in well i was more than nick dying for one last trip in the disney magic where you know it's just the two of us before our lives change forever or, so excited for this new chapter like i can't even explain and it feels so weird to say it out loud knowing this is going on the internet because we haven't shared it online yet um partly because we just wanted to keep it in our little bubble but also because i know i'm gonna get so much unsolicited advice and i just don't think i was really ready for it however i am ready so yeah i am pregnant i'm having a baby i am as i'm recording this 20 weeks so we're halfway through and i am just so excited this is a super long intro but obviously this means that it's a very different trip um i'm not gonna be going on all the rides and i'm not gonna be running around you know from park to park to park like we have on previous trips it's going to be a much more kind of chilled trip i have a list on my phone of rides i can go on and we booked this trip obviously knowing that i was pregnant and i was just like i need to get into that magic and i think if you've been before you'll understand like the disney magic is just so special so this is where we're at i am pregnant <laughs> Like I say, it just feels so weird to say it, but that is, I think, it for the intro. Um, the next clip you will see is tomorrow. When you texted me from the plane, I knew there was something wrong. Kept telling me not to worry, or you had... Good morning. Oh, that's better lighting, isn't it? Well, I actually can't see. We are at the airport. It only takes about 20 minutes to get here, so, yeah. I'm so excited. I'm excited to leave the sun here because it is disgusting. 
hospital. It's disgusting to live in these conditions in the UK. Um, but we've got our cases. Nick's just parked somewhere. We've done meet and greet. So we're going to drop this key off and go through, well, check in, all that good stuff. Let's go. You miss me so much. But you had somebody else on your bed when you said you were all I didn't really get this one. I did quite like the smell of this one as well. It's not very me, that one. I can't believe I let you be so traumatic. You broke her heart. It's already starting, in which is so inconsiderate to the block. What have you got? Mush on toast. Mush on toast. A bit of mushrooms. And then I've got just some bread. <laughs> We've got to an apple juice. Love it. So we've had breakfast at uh, what's it called? San Carlo. I've just been to the toilet. Is this TMI? I don't know. I'm just waiting on Nick. And the gate should be announced about half eight, which I think. Well, they said 20 past eight, it's 22 minutes past. So I might go and find a board to see what our gate is. And then we'll go visit the gate. I'm so excited. It almost like just a pure wheel that we're going. Um, and the fact that it's our baby moon, which is even more like what the hell. Um, but I am so, so hot in this airport. Um, um, so I've been dragging my hat little fan around with me. But yeah, just gonna wait for Nick and we can go to the gate. I can't wait. Also, I keep looking at myself and not the lens, so apologies. I'm doing it again. Somebody has become a Crocs girly for this trip. Haven't you, Nick? Show with your Crocs. Even got his little initial on there. <laughs> Work it. Not in sports mode though. Oh my god, I'm really zoomed in. Where are we going? Melbourne. Melbourne. We said that before. Well, they said it, didn't they? When we were checking in. Like, you're here for Melbourne. And people behind us were like, uh, Melbourne? <laughs> Poor them. They've queued for ages as well. Now it's going to do a free queue. But are you excited? Yeah. That's that's the level of Nick's excitement, that's all we get, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, sorry. Doesn't want to be on the vlog, alright. I always believed in fate since from early age. For some reason I thought we would never break found it out I before the trick into an end and was falling. We've got on this fire for minute and it is dead. Let me show you. Can I see that? It's literally no. So we're thrilled. So once we take off and it's safe to take people off, Nick's going on another row. Oh no. Oh, or me? Okay, you're moving me. Okay, you're shifting me to another row. Well, you're on the end. I am on the end. All right, chill out. All right. So we're going to get our own row. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm just say Borden's finished though, right? I'm so excited. Uh, I hope you felt bad. I hope you still do. If I ever hurt you, God, I hope that that's true. Doesn't take a pair of balls to be the bigger man, so fuck you. You broke a heart that was young and naive. At this point, I've given up on forgiving the damage you've done to me. I guess did. I We've got from a nice little sleep. We've got a uh, chicken, rice, black pepper sauce. Some sort of bread roll, uh, cheesecake thing, with some crackers, and that's some other stuff. I'll try and open this. Let's try and open this up. Doesn't look fantastic. Chocolate. 
Tired of watching all your good times on my timeline unfollow. And every pill I have to push down, like the combos, makes me hollow. Don't tell me girls just wanna have fun When all I wanna do is cut and run I'll take a sharp knife to your good life Cause it's shallow Take a shot on three This is the car. What did they say it was? A dodge. I don't know what that means But when I get in the car with some aircon, I'm gonna tell you about our travel travel day because it's been it's been fun. What didn't that little fit? Maybe this one in the back seat. I love how I'm just like you do it. Hello from the car. Apologies for oh my god, I'm so hot for the aircon noise. But I wanted to update you. The flight was dead. Like we were sat waiting, weren't we? And we were like, hmm. Like, sorry. Um, we were just like, hmm, do we think, I, I'm terrible like seeing a certain amount of people and being like, do you think that'll fill a plane or not? But even I was like, hmm, there's not many people here. And when they called premium, there was hardly anyone left, was there? Yeah, premium was full. Premium was like full. I think there's a few spare seats, but we were row 35, I think. I think it was like 40 rows. Our part was <laughs> dead, wasn't it? Like, we both had full rows each, like, oh, it was bliss. Like, it was a good flight, um, so that was great. The staff were really nice. It, the flight itself didn't drag, really, did it? It went pretty quick. Um, and then the best bit, I mean, it did leave, was it about an hour late? Yeah, we got here. But we got here about, half, I think it was a half hour like later than they said, which is fine. We got in at quarter, so the flight landed at quarter to two yeah and it's half two now and we're driving off like we had the car by 20 past like like and nick had the keys by 20 past yeah, it's we madness the, uh, we got so lucky the bags. my bag came out second yours was out within a couple of minutes we were second going through security but came out first we were like yay let's go um and then first in the car queue i was like i'll stand here you get in that queue um so i do feel quite smug i'm not gonna lie to you um, like we've had a very good day. The original plan was we drive from here to, and do like Disney Springs for Magic Bands, Walmart for like, or Target, whatever, for some snacks, drinks for the room, and then, and then check in. That's a Dodge too. Yeah, man. Toot toot. I don't think they do that here. <laughs> it's like when I see a Yaris at home and I'm like, wait. But we're just gonna head straight to Pop Century. It's an hour and 18, it's saying. So we should get there for about 10 to 4. Hopefully that'll be a nice smooth check-in. Um, and then, I don't know, we'll decide what we're gonna do then. We do need to go and get our magic bands from, what's it called, Planet Hollywood in Disney Springs. Um, I've said this in previous videos about this trip. Some elements have been gifted, which blows my mind. Mix hasn't. <laughs> but attraction tickets are very kindly gifted my park ticket and then we bought Nick's park ticket and as part of the deal at the time we got magic bands I don't know why I'm doing this as if I've got one on and they are I think they're teal which is not a bad colour for you follow me on Instagram you'll know I've done a bit of work with them this year we've booked with them previously like we are customers generally and um, we're doing a couple of evening after hours events one at Typhoon Lagoon which we're both like super excited for and the other one at Epcot that one has been gifted for both of us um so at some point well when we get there <laughs> in this trip you'll see that um I think that clears right up don't need no sympathy no apologies you can confide in me at the checking car park we're gonna go and check in and i don't know where our room's gonna be um 
I was kind of tempted to like request that bin, see if we could like request the same room as last time. But I feel like maybe we'll put it in the hands of whoever decides, whoever's job it is to decide. Um, so we get a different perspective. But look, look at my view. We are here. Checked in. We've got our room. Where are we? She did circle it. Here. Yeah, in the 50s again. And last time we were here, so buzzing on its first floor, which is fab. And as you know, because I said in the intro of this, it feels weird to talk about online, but we're having a baby. So yeah, we were speaking to them about that. So they gave us these badges. And my room key is looking hella cute. Um, my magic band is in my case, which probably wasn't the wisest place to leave it, but yeah, we'll use this and then I will switch to my magic band. But yeah, she's written down on here like the different buses and the times they start and the same with the Skyliner. <laughs> Let's drive around and see where we're going. Nick's gone to get the cases. This is the perks of like pregnant. Um, let me give you a quick tour. The lighting's not great. Um, it's like the same configuration as when we stayed in September, but like switched around. Let me show you. So when we stayed in September, this was like this side. It was just switched, you know? Um, you've probably seen this plenty of times before. This is like the pull-out bed. Um, if I can be bothered at some point, I'll show you because they usually have really nice artwork. Um, but we won't pull it out because we use the table. The table usually gets used for like stuff we've bought. We just pile it all on there. We've got the bed and we found these really comfortable and I love that artwork on there. This is the TV. Nick wants me to let you know that we are married. I just haven't changed my name on my passport. Um, so I booked this in Worrell. Sorry, hun. Um, this is the unit. I mean, it's standard, isn't it? I think the safe's usually in here. Yes, it is. But I think you get quite a lot of like nice, nice storage. Bins, one of these is usually recycling, if I remember rightly. I can't remember I'm showing the bins on the internet. And then you have this next to the window, which I actually find this drawer really satisfying. And then you have the fridge, and it's about to come in. Let's let him in. Hello. Now, where is the light in here? There we go. Oh, camera didn't like that, did it? So I actually really like the bathrooms here. Um, loads of like really nice lighting. They're actually quite big. So you have storage down here, here, here. Um, little, like it's not masses, but oh, that's where the hair dryer is. That's good. And that's the iron. And then you've got a shelving up here if you need it. Um, so you hang your clothes. Boring, boring, boring. And then the bathroom is very standard. Um, it has the H2O products because I know some people are interested in them. But that is the room. Nick had something delivered to the hotel, which you can do. Was it six dollars? To, like for Disney to I guess logistics of holding it until you arrive and uh, it's so exciting how many Walmarts did we go to last Seven. time and it, I mean, we went to Vegas trying to find it oh it's got a handle it's expensive how much was it Nick $30, $30 plus your $6 for holding it you have like one of it, it. To, the, to the UK is like yeah the delivery to the UK keeps you drink cold for 30 hours 30 hours it's cold ice for 30 hours no, does it not just cold um yeah, it's smart, I like it, and to be fair, you never buy yourself anything. Oh my god, you could put the sticker on it, like I've done on my water bottle. Um, yeah, you never buy yourself anything, and you've been wanting one of these water bottles yeah, for like, NFL almost a year. Player. An NFL player, former NFL player's business. God, we live exciting lives, don't we? We need to go out, what time is it? Still got a bloody backpack on. What time is it? Um, Come on. Half four and we want to be in Epcot, don't we? Yeah. Leave here about seven-ish, you reckon? So we need to run, run to Walmart and into Disney Springs, come back, freshen up, and then Now the drink don't even fix me, just the misery gets me higher. Every day I think I'm dying I say I'm driving But I'm a liar I'm trying to laugh away all this pain 
So this is a haul from Walmart. So Nick picked these Cheetos. I went with the Ranch Wavy Ray Rays. <laughs> I also went for Ranch Pringles and we got some Philly cheesesteak ones. We've got salsa for the crisps. Sugar cookies, which are looking a bit worse for wear. Two goldfish, I'll probably take these home. These also might end up going home, it depends if I eat them. I love these so much. Um, just had to get both different both different flavours, both flavours. The Mega Stuff Oreos, have been dying to try them. Big thing of water, some Fanta Pineapple, and there's the grapes. I think that was it, wasn't it? But this was like 50 odd dollars. Like it's actually ludicrous. But they are our snacks. We have freshened up, we have had showers, I put a Disney themed outfit on and I'm just <laughs> the theme of these vlogs is going to be me moaning that I'm hot. Um, so love that, love that, love that. Um, we're off to Epcot for a bit, see what we get up to and then I'm going to be in bed soon because you know, what time is it? 20 past 7 and I'm like I want to go to bed, we'll see how long we last. <laughs> can't even explain the level of exhaustion. Um, it is nine o'clock. Um, I forgot to take you to Epcot with me. I need to put you here. So yesterday, so Sunday, the day before we flew out, we started getting a really, really bad, like chesty cough. And I did, it just doesn't feel good, basically. So that's quite difficult. <laughs> Being pregnant and just, I think I've really underestimated what I can and can't do and like obviously the heat here is mad because it's June and we've only ever been in January and like October, September, September, October. Um, it's like I knew it was going to be hot but yeah I do think part of it is that we've just had the longest day so like 10, 11, 12, 1, 2 so it's like, like 2am in the UK and we got up at 5 so we've almost been up like 24 hours. Um, loved the um, TUI flight today, obviously we were very lucky that it was empty um, and it was such a good time of flight as well. So it meant that we could check in, nip to Walmart, go get our magic bands um, and go into the park for like an hour, which was lovely. Um, I had half of a pretzel, Nick had the rest because I was just like, you know when you get that hot tired like everywhere is aching like honestly if you've been pregnant you'll get it and i feel like not that i judge pregnant people because it's not the case but i don't think you fully appreciate it until you appreciate it until you are pregnant like the level of exhaustion like i don't know how any of you do it where you've got like toddlers or whatever i'm pregnant at the same time because i am wiped so i think that paired with the fact obviously we had a flight we got up early it's been been a day but it's been so good i'm so so happy to be here like i can't even explain um nick has gone to get we're only getting one resort mug this time because we're only here for a week um and i really like the hot chocolates in the evening <laughs> and of course fanta we all know how i feel about fanta orange um so he's popped to go and get that and also get himself some food because i just can't eat anything else <laughs> i'm like i'm delirious please stick with me i'm hoping that these will improve <laughs> and i'll be human tomorrow um but yeah any questions let me know as always um i'll leave my social links and yeah just thank you so much for following along on this journey like i say this is my off like our first ever disney world vlogs and we're so new at this <laughs> like going out tonight i forgot my like camera i forgot a portable charger <laughs> i forgot my fan i sat there like oh my god i'm so hot but anyway wrapping this up any questions drop them below um i love replying to your comments i'll drop my instagram and stuff um, i'm going to be posting stuff on tiktok as usual um but yeah hope you enjoyed and i shall see you on the next one